Hello everyone, Spezit Somni here. Today we're going over uh, just a daisy tutorial, tips and tricks of some stuff that is good to know. Uh, that'll help you with surviving. Um, so, one of the first things that I like to do is organize my inventory. So, you can do this at any stage in the game. Um, it's easier the later because you can uh, you can control better because you have more storage like field vests and different types of pants and stuff so uh, typically what I like to do and you can do this anyway is with any type of vest that has storage I prioritize my ammo and magazines in that because it makes it easier to uh, to do like to reach them um, uh, typically combat jackets I'll put my food in there specifically for the purpose that um, cooked food can keep you warm so just make sure you don't overload yourself with cooked food in your jacket because you can overheat also have my chlorine tablets in here just just because that's where they're at um, typically my pants have my meds and like anything that I would need so like uh, cures for sickness bandages you know blood kits etc and usually my backpack is my miscellaneous stuff which Typically, I have my pistol and my vest. I think it just went in there because I quick slotted. So, uh, yeah, I'm the miscellaneous stuff. I've got some nails in here, binoculars, duct tape, all that happy jazz. Um, so, uh, second tip is your quick slot is going to be your best friend. So, uh, you you're always going to want to click. The way I set up my quick slot is I have my priorities at the top. So mainly my guns. Um, usually I have my weakest gun from the right to the left. Um, then typically right here below my guns I'll have my t two most important things. So if I have multiple knives, a melee weapon, um, they'll be here. My canteen's here so I can quick access it just because I like I'm using it. I can refill it. Um, compass, I like to have it uh, in one of the cardinal directions just because it's easier to just go in and go straight down. Uh, I got a bandage here, range finder, which range finder and binoculars I have below my SK so I can quickly access those for scouting. Um, a third tip that I like to uh, give people is to always bring your clothes out when it's raining. Um, even if you're not in there very long, just if you happen to go inside a building or something, if you have a second, just wring your clothes out because that's going to keep you from being wet and that's going to keep your temperature up. And keeping your temperature up is going to keep you from getting cold. Um, another tip that I like to have, like I like to tell people, is when you are using a mag-fed weapon, um, typically when you load a mag in it without a bullet in the chamber, it's going to take the first bullet out of the magazine so instead of saying 1 out of 30 in the bottom left it'll say 1 out of 29 what I like to do is I will typically before I insert the mag um, I I will just chamber around and um, then I will insert the mag or I'll do what you see there and I will uh, chamber around from the magazine and I will load another loose round into the magazine so I can have it back at 1 out of 30. Also for simplicity and like easy access I don't I try to keep my mags all full but I also try not to carry any loose ammunition that I don't need so like I'm using weapons that take 45 ACP uh, 762 by 39 and 9x19 so I'm not carrying like 308 Winchester rounds or buckshot. Um, another one that I think is important is I don't like to have uh, a boot and also a sheath just because I think it gets confusing with what knives you have quick slotted. Um, so either one or the other, whether it be at a, I think it's the assault boot that allows you to uh, sheath a knife or just the sheath on your belt. And just whatever comes, whatever you can find first. Um, now this one isn't really a demonstration, but I'm just going to explain it. Uh, when you are sniping, um, it is good to have a silencer, which if you don't 
have a weapon that can take that has just a made silencer in the game. Um, typically, most weapons can take the water bottle suppressor, which is you can craft with an empty water bottle and just some duct tape. And it usually, I think it has three to four um, uses. So if you are going out on just like a sniper mission uh, or are planning to just snipe, I would recommend carrying a couple of these on you. Um, but they do uh, help a lot. Also, while sniping, I highly recommend not firing repeatedly because it will give away your position. Um, take a shot and wait a little bit, or take a shot and then kind of move position, whether it only be a couple yards. This will help uh, disorient your enemies. Um, it'll be harder for them to recognize where you're at. Uh, another tip is to always bake your food. Now, uh, you'll wonder why I say only bake, because boiling will only uh, benefit you, it'll benefit you better in hydration and not in hunger, and there are many other ways to hydrate yourself in game. Um, so I, pr I like to prioritize baking because it has the most calories, so it'll uh, fill your food the most. Um, now, if you don't have fat to bake in a cooking pot or on in uh, a frying pan, you can cook on an open fire barrel. So if you had a fire in this barrel, you can cook it right on top of this and it won't burn. Uh, you just got to watch it really closely. You can cook on top of a stove or you can cook uh, on a long stick. Another tip that I like to recommend, which uh, a lot of people don't know about, is fishing now? I reckon you can craft a handmade fishing rod with a long stick and a string. Um, those aren't very good. I like to use the fishing rods that you can find near little boats on the coast and just in the coast towns. Um, now the hook, uh, the hook does matter, but it it's not a big deal. You can use uh, the normal fishing rod hooks, which you find in the same location as fishing rods, or you can use bone hooks which you craft from bones that you get from animals and humans. Um, they're just easier to come by bones so I like to make a lot of bone hooks and uh, use those. Also you will need a knife or a shovel to dig up worms um, to, to craft fishing bait to equip to your fishing rod. Um, also when you catch a fish, I don't know what exactly all fish are in the game, I know there are car carp. Uh, when you cut, when you catch carp, you're gonna want to uh, cut them in half to prepare them for carp fillets. So each each fish you catch is gonna be two pieces of uh, meat, like like I have here, a carp fillet. This is a this is a cooked carp fillet. Um, another tip. This is uh, we're gonna go into base building a little bit. Is to the way I like to structure my bases is to put is to do three or more layers so as you can see here we have this main core here which is where most of my loot is and then we have this mid layer of walls and then a third layer Now the third layer is where you're gonna want your main defenses so we've got all our camo netting there and I'm prioritizing transferring this barbed wire but the barbed wire will be moved out to that outer wall um, and then your inner layers, you just want walls because the walls are hard to break through. Um, also, I like to gate up all my towers just because if someone blows into this main core of the base, um, it's hard for them to get it straight into the towers. Also, uh, I recommend, now this is going to be a pricely cost for base building, but at the current status of the game, uh, you, it is, you cannot break into uh, a gate that has a combo lock on it unless you blow into it you can't actually tear it apart with like axes and sledgehammers so you can actually use gates as walls if you just if you'd like you could just I could turn all these walls into gates and put a combo lock on them and the only way someone would be able to get in is blowing through them with frag grenades um, another thing another tip for base building is when cutting down trees for planks you're gonna want to move a little bit away from your base just because you can see uh, those very easily. Also, another uh, tip will is gardening is not the most efficient way to get food. The best ways are gonna be um, 
hunting and fishing. You, gardening, as it stands in the game right now, is not very efficient. Yes, it's got a high yield, but and it you technically you can create infinite food, but the food itself from gardening is not very efficient at filling your hunger. So, um, another tip is if you get sick, uh, whatever face. Uh, if you're wearing a face cloth, whether it be a bandana, a mask, um, a ski mask, uh, when you get sick, you'll actually uh, infect that mask. So if you, even if you cure your sickness, it'll come back because you have that mask on. So you want to take it off and disinfect it with either alcoholic tincture or disinfectant spray. Um, Another thing I like to use is multivitamins. Now you might think there's not a use to these, but actually, um, if you pop these while you're cold or wet, it'll per it'll help prevent you from getting sick to the elements. Um, very useful in that regard. Also, if you get sick early on, I don't know if it's necessarily supposed to do this, but like if you catch a sickness instantly, if as long as you pop uh, a multivitamin, uh, it should usually cure it or at least like prevent it from escalating um, but if a sickness has gone too far uh, you're gonna want to use tetracycline currently there is no use that I know of for codeine pills in the game uh, don't really do anything your best bets tetracycline with any sickness the only sicknesses you cannot or the only sickness you cannot cure it right now is kuru which you get from eating human meat um, and there are three sicknesses in the game you have the, the, the flu um, cholera and uh, kuru so cholera is a little bit more deadly because it'll make you throw up and make you starve a lot um, the cold you're just gonna cough and sneeze a lot and it's easily transmitted to players and uh, yeah so um, that's about it for this tips and tricks video for Daisy uh, just some quick little tips I wanted to run over with so, uh, with the community, just because it's some stuff I don't always see, and it's just stuff that I prioritize or think about uh, a lot while playing, and it it definitely helps. It'll increase your experience on DayZ, um, and it'll just make your playthrough overall a lot easier and better. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you want to see another one. Um, I'm always willing to do more tips and tricks with any game I play. Alright, see you guys.